Today, we will be interviewing the owner of Dutch Village, Joe Nielis. We will be asking him questions about what's his favorite part of Dutch Village and Dutch culture. Well, hi, I'm Noah. Thanks for coming. Uh, we were really looking forward to, forward to this. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Well, hi, Noah. My name's Joe. My last name is Nielis, and, you know, the Dutch Village is now called Nielis' Dutch Village. Okay. And, um... Yeah, I've been working there pretty much my whole life, and uh, been there. It's been there a long time. Well, what was like? What was your first like ancestors' intentions behind the Dutch village? So yeah, so if we're going to talk about the family's history and and maybe what the intentions were, we have to go back even farther than the Dutch village itself. So. Um, the Dutch Village is a family business, and that means it's a business, but it's been in the same family, owned by the same people in the same family for a long time. So I'm what they call a fourth generation family business owner. So that means my dad was in the business, his dad was in the business, and his dad started the business. And that goes all the way back to 1922, over 100 years ago when my great-grandpa bought some property that became what was first known as Neela's Tulip Farm. And that started way back in the 1920s, okay? The Dutch village itself didn't start until 1958, okay? And um, the uh, family was in the tulip business. And what they intended for Dutch village first was for it to be a new location for the tulip farm. Because uh, in the 1950s, um, they put in the highway that's in front of Dutch Village now. So um, I don't know if you guys would know, but two years ago we had a fire at Dutch Village and it burned down the barn where the animals were for the petting farm. And so right now we're finishing rebuilding that and then um, we're building a new entrance building um, right by the new parking lot. And so there's a lot of changes going on right now. Um, and we have to finish all that work before I can start on, you know, what might be a new attraction for Dutch Village, some new fun thing that we might let people do when they're there. What did um, Dutch Village um, originally look like? Yeah, so the very, very first thing that was built at Dutch Village was this building right here. And um, I'll kind of show that to you there. That was built in 1958. And um, if you want to hold this up, this is the first map that they made in Dutch Village. Some things that they envisioned we didn't do, like uh, this is a roller skating rink. They never made a roller skating rink there. Um, so this was just kind of different ideas. And you can see over here, they have tulip fields or tulip farm. And the tulip farm never did move from the original location to the highway. So. What are some things that you didn't get into Dutch Village that's on this? Um, so there's a blacksmith shop down there. Um, we didn't do that. Uh, there's a full size boat here. Um, we never got that. Um, and then this windmill on top of a building here, we never built that, although we did build this one over here. Do you ever plan on adding anything like that in the future? Um, yeah, we're always thinking of what we want to do next. Um, we're definitely thinking about doing something more with windmills. Well, what is a must know for Dutch Village? Wow, that's a great question. Um, I think the must know is, um, you know, what kind of experience people can have at Dutch Village now, and it's about this family fun and making family memories. You know, that's the main thing that we put on our brochures and our advertising now is that we want people to know, um, you know, even if you're from Holland and Zealand, you can still come to Dutch Village because you're going to have a great time. You're going to have a great day.